Hello everyone, welcome back to my Kim Corner. So in today's video, we're going to do question number 2.2, second part of the question. It says find A, the total number and B, total mass of neutrons in 7 milligrams of 14 carbon. Okay, assume that the mass of the neutron is 1.675, 10 to the power minus 27 kilogram. So here basically what they've given us is an isotope of carbon with 14 as the um, atomic mass. In that you need to find the number of atoms, total number and total mass of the neutron. Okay, this is what you are supposed to find out. So here first thing let's find out in this case you need to find out number of atoms of carbon 14 in 1 mole. So if I take 1 mole how many atoms of carbon-14 are there? Basically, Avogadro number. Okay. So, in one mole of carbon-14, number of atoms that I have is Avogadro number. Now, since if you take, say, number of neutrons, number of neutrons in carbon-14 is how much? For atomic mass of this is 18 minus carbon uh, atomic number or number of uh, protons is basically 6. So when I do this, I'm going to get, sorry, atomic mass is 14. Okay, that is given over here. That's the isotope. Therefore, I will have 8 neutrons. Okay, so if I want to find the number of neutrons that are there in 14 grams, all right, so if I want to find out number of neutrons in 14 grams of carbon-14 isotope, okay, this will be equal to Avogadro number into 6 point into 8, which is a number of neutrons there, okay. So here they have told me, they have asked us to find out what is the number of neutrons in this much of carbon? So, therefore, I am finding out that it is atomic mass divided by the uh, number of protons, which will give the number of neutrons. So, therefore, 14 gram is the, is the mass of one carbon in this case because I have taken 40, the 14 as the isotope of carbon. So, therefore, this is going to be the mass of carbon, one, uh, one carbon. So, when I try to um, so, so try to uh, what do you say multiply this I will get this into the Avogadro number okay therefore number of neutrons in 7 milligram equals how much basically I am just going to cross multiply this Right? So, when I cross multiply, I will get 8 into 6.022 10 to the power 23 into 7 milligram divided by 14 grams here. When I convert it to 4 milligram, it is going to be 1400 milligram. Multiply all of this and then divide it here. I will get 2.4092 10 to the power 21 because you will get 0, 0.0 something. So, when I shift the decimal, I will get 2.4092 um, as the number of neutrons that are present in 7 milligram. Okay, that is the question asked here. Alright, so this is how I am going to get what is the number of neutrons that are present in um, 7 milligrams of carbon-14 isotope. So, this is the first answer that says cal calculate the total number. Okay, to calculate total number of neutrons. Second question is I need to calculate total mass of the neutron. Right? Now for the second question that says total mass of neutron. In this case we can write mass of neutron is given to us in the question already. Right? So mass of one neutron. This is coming from the question. That is 1.6749 10 to the power minus 27 kilogram. This is the mass coming from the question. Therefore, mass of 
total neutrons in 7 grams of 14 carbon. Alright? This is a 7 milligram, not gram. 7 milligram of 14 carbon. This is going to be what is the uh, total number of neutrons that were present in 7 milligrams? We just calculated it. It was 2.04092 10 to the power 21 into the mass of 1 neutron. That is 1.6749 10 to the power minus 27. When I calculate this, I will get 4.05. It's 4.035. Okay. So this is 4.0352, 10 to the power minus 6 kilogram. Alright, so this is going to be the mass of one neutron from the charge that you calculate, from the number of neutrons that you calculated. Alright.